This plant is in the family Cornaceae, the genus Cornus, and the specific epithet is Cerisa. This is red hyphen osier dogwood. Red osier, the reason the hyphen is in there is that osier is an older way to say willow. So this is a fake or false willow. It's in the dogwood family. Let's take a closer look at some of its characteristics. Like many of the dogwoods, this is an oppositely arranged plant. So we see buds opposite each other on the stem. On the red osier dogwood, you'll notice that the twig is actually green, and even if we move down into an older portion of the twig, it is still green. And as we look closer at the plant from its base, we'll see that it continues to be green. The name red comes into play when this particular green part of the stem or trunk becomes exposed to a lot of sunlight. As soon as it's exposed to sunlight, the stem will turn, change color, from green to red. Here is the fruit. This is a little white once it's ripe. This is not edible for people, but it is good for birds and other wildlife. The leaf of dogwood, of the red osier dogwood, is similar to other dogwoods. We see the vein pattern here that follows the curve of the edge of the leaf. It is a simple leaf, singly attached, and we can see that the margin is entire or smooth. The top is nice green color and the underside is a lighter color, green, almost white in coloration. The red osier dog, similar to other dogwoods, can also, if you fold it in half and tear gently, the leaf has fine silk-like filament that runs through and you can separate out the leaf, making for an impressive magic trick. At least, I think it's impressive. And that will only go so far, but it can go quite a ways before it eventually rips away.